What's going on everybody? In this video we're going to make a uh, rack for this plate carrier and battle belt and rifle. So thanks for watching. So anyway, I would like to keep my uh, battle belt and plate carrier here like on a, on a mount or a cross. Um, I have some ammo out here that I need to organize and I also have uh, some rifles that I'm going to make a stand for. These are shotguns, but you know, you get what the picture is. I kind of want to make an L-shaped bracket there. Um, I got to make a spot for uh, all my ammo here, so maybe go up underneath there in that corner. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to concentrate on making me a little uh, play carrier stand and battle belt uh, stand with the rifle stand in this corner, just so that I have it here at nine time if I want to reach over and grab it I can and it'll be out of the way um, I don't really train with the plate carrier too often but it is what it is I would like to have it somewhere good I also have a like a just a cami set with like a, a prepper bag or whatever you want to call it just in case um, whenever the coronavirus stuff started uh, it was kind of scary because everything was happening so fast and now that everything's you know died off or whatever i think the census is is that you know nothing's going to get too crazy but either way it made me panic by this rifle and this stuff in case i had to use it and now we're just going to set it up and and get it uh organized or whatever so thanks for watching the video we're going to go downstairs and see what kind of scrap what i have and stuff all right so i kind of have just my spare stuff all over the place but i got a little bit of little bit of two by four uh, I got a four by four so what I was thinking is I might give my sh give my hand a try at uh trying to put two of these together like cross cut them or whatever notch this out and then fit two on each other I've never done that before like I'm not a, a very skilled woodworker so that's kind of like that's going to be an adventure but I'm going to give it a shot um I'm gonna use probably some of these pieces for legs, and then I'm also gonna make a little battle belt shelf here. And if I have enough wood, I'll put a little, uh, I'll put one of these on the bottom of the plate carrier. You'll see, you'll see. How about I just, uh, I'll just build it, and then we'll go from there, because I'm probably not, I never do a good job at explaining stuff, so. What we'll do is, I'm gonna set you up over here in the corner and I'm gonna cut and drill and put stuff together and then you just, you know, fast forward or whatever. So, here we go. All right, everybody, so this is what I ended up with. I just wanna go over it real quick, super easy. I made this whole thing out of scrap wood. Um, let's see. So this is a four by four. This is a four by four. I like cut half and half out and kind of stuck them together. I don't know if you can see the gap or not, but they like sandwiched into each other. I put these uh, two by fours as spacers because when you put like a plate carrier like mine on, mine's just a cheap one with the like really thin steel plates. It kind of doesn't keep its form. It's just flop. It's super floppy all over the place. So I'll show you here in a second. But with the plate carrier on this, this pushes the front and the back plate apart, which makes the cummerbund uh, a little bit more the way that it should look whenever it's on you. If you care about that sort of thing, um, this is for the bottom or the side plates, the side sappies to sit on so that it doesn't pull the cummerbund down really bad. And then I'll kind of tried to figure out what I was going to do with my battle belt, but I decided that I was going to strap it around this, like this is acting as my waist, and this is just some under support. So I'll go ahead and stick everything on there and uh, give you a little preview of what it looks like. So one second. And there you go. So this is what it looks like whenever all the stuff's on it. I uh, just got my plate carrier there, sitting, resting on these little 2 by 4s these guys are acting as the shoulders and then my little battle belt right there. And then I'm gonna probably, I don't think instead of hanging a rifle, I think I'm probably just gonna put this over here like I'd be wearing it. And just let it sit like that. I'm probably just let it sit on there to tell you the truth. And then all my stuff's in one place, it's ready to go if I need it. And uh, 
it's organized it's not in a pile it was just laying in the floor in a in a big pile so i think that's probably a better way to do it but i think that's how it's going to stay for now so until i uh figure something else out to do with it then that's probably how it's going to go um you can paint these and make them nice you know i could have painted this black it would have blended in with everything or whatever however fancy you want to go with it all that was scrap wood that i used uh, to build my desk or the the end of the desk stuff so i made this desk over here uh this is a couple months ago but i made this out of uh two by eights and see the there's the four by fours there for the legs so all that was just scrap wood that i uh cut off of of making that desk so I'm sure you have some scrap wood around or, or something to use. Um, it just makes it really nice. You know, all your stuff's right where you need it. Everything's organized. Um, you're ready to go. So hope this helped. Um, you guys uh, leave a comment and um, let me know if there's something else that I need to do or something else you think that would be better with this kind of deal here. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.